Whew, here it is. What's up guys? My name is Kai. I am a freelance filmmaker, professional drone pilot, and I'm making this video today for two reasons. Firstly, I've been getting a few questions from friends and family and people in the comments about how to do filmmaking, how to be creative, how to start with an idea, how to execute it and edit it and make sure that it is telling a coherent, effective story. Second reason and the reason why I thought it would be a great time to make this video is because I just landed my first drone job that is requiring me to travel. Uh, it's very exciting and I've only been doing this drone thing for like a little bit over six months So that was kind of like my quarantine project and now it's turning into one of my main forms of income So this is really very exciting for me And I want to take you guys along with the journey and I think we're gonna learn a lot because it's with a marketing agency production company So they're gonna know a lot of things that I don't yet and while I share with you what I know I'm gonna learn a lot from them that I can share to you guys so Let's go on this journey. We're going to Joshua Tree. It's going to take about three hours and yeah, I'm excited. Okay. Uh, so it's a lot more in depth than like an Apple Watch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like my recovery is surprisingly 77%. So I had like... Wow, it even good. measures your recovery? Whoa. Like over to property and just scrolling down. Okay, straight down. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. Um, the secondary important Are you going to do it through the goggles? Uh, no, this one's going to be through the phone. Oh, so I'll, I'll okay. let you guys just look over my shoulder. Yeah, Alex and I were talking about how you, you guys were talking about <laughs> So they kind of just drove off without me. <laughs> uh, they're going to go get some other shots while I take care of the drone stuff. Once we've gotten all of these beautiful beauty uh, landscape shots, then we're gonna go chase that red Jeep that you saw. That thing is dope. So I'm looking forward to that too. So a big question I know you guys had was essentially about the creative process for video. How do you take an idea, plan it, shoot it, and then edit it to make it as good as it can possibly be? For those who are stuck, cause I've been there before, on trying to basically make a good video idea come to life, I would say a big part of it that I was missing for the longest time was the idea of starting with a theme or a lesson. Because a lot of us can go out and we can fly a drone and we can get cool footage of the landscape and such, but you know, you can put that online, you can do whatever you want with that, but by itself, there's nothing too special about it, especially now that drones are super accessible and anybody can do it. It no longer has that wow factor. And if you're just flying a drone for the sake of flying a drone, or you're just doing your craft just for the sake of making a post, then it's not going to stand out. If you want to reach people on another level of emotion, the best thing I can do is recommend you to start with an emotion or story or a lesson, right? Story is king. It's a huge term and I believe in it powerfully because, you know, it's what draws people in and makes people care. That's the idea. You want to get people to care. And so the only way you're going to get people to care is if you can hook them with the relatability or with some sort of idea or emotion. For example, for this video, the reason I'm making it is because I wanted to answer questions that people might have who are following me, whether that be video creation stuff or drone FPV or professional stuff, right? With that in mind, I'm not going to go out shooting dilly dally. I'll save myself way more time in the editing room. I'll know exactly what my intention is, which is to help you guys as much as I can with the questions that you ask. So with that in mind, start with an intention and then shoot from there. Everything becomes a lot easier when you know what you're making, why you're making. I think it cost me like 60 bucks for yeah, my hair because it was long too, long and thick. All right, here we go. FPV time. Private area. How you guys feel? Oh yeah, dude, that was sick. That was a lot of fun. 
I'm glad nothing got broken. Yeah, right? Yes. We have a little bit of off time before we start shooting drone shots again. So until then, I'm gonna get me some coffee and also just get out of the house and explore the area a little bit because I haven't done a lot of that. It's really nice to be out and traveling and seeing new places and being productive. The big question that a lot of you guys had mentioned was about how do you deal with burnouts, right? And it's a very important question because I think at some point, if you're passionate about something and you go hard on it, you're going to experience burnout. It's inevitable. And I used to see it as a really, really bad time in my life. The thing I love the most, whether it be breaking or filmmaking or flying drones, the second that I pushed it over the tipping point and worked a little bit too much on it, I kind of lost passion for it. Didn't want to look at it, didn't want to see it. Uh, it happens, it happens to everybody and it sucks because it's just such a bad feeling to suddenly not like the thing that you spent the most time on. Here's the thing, burnout is inevitable, right? So I feel like everything happens for a reason, including burnout. It's not something that's happening against your journey, it's happening for it. And once you are going through this experience, it's a sign, right? You've spent a lot of time on this craft. And once you've burnt out on it, or you are ready to take a break from it, now is an opportunity to do a few things. A lot of the greatest people that we look up to, including Bruce Lee and Kobe Bryant, not only were they the best at what they did, which was basketball and martial arts and philosophy, but at the same time, we only saw them for those things. We didn't also know that Kobe Bryant also loved to break and to dance. He loved to dance and he spent a lot of time doing it and getting good at it. And Bruce Lee also was a tango champion. You know, he, he did other things besides just Jeet Kune Do. You know, he did, he did other things besides just martial arts. So I think the takeaway here is that even the people we glorify for being the best that we are under the impression they're spending every waking moment just perfecting their craft and getting better at that one thing, they also learn to do other things and they cross-learned, diversified their skill sets and their mindsets so that they could come out on top and have new innovative ways of thinking of their craft. So when you burn out, I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to go for something like that. If you're filmmaking and you don't want to filmmake for a while, you go ahead and bake cake. Go ahead and try to learn how to cook or go rock climb or something. Go out in the wilderness since you have been maybe sitting in your editing room for way too long. You need to go outside and do something else. That is something that I have had to deal with myself. This is Joe and Reed. They both work at Lodge Room and we found this nuclear warhead on the side of the road. And now there's a sticker on it. It's a good touch. Nice. I like that. Yeah, you're in a really good spot. I think this is like an address for some that someone's old place. Yeah. It's just one small piece of art of like many on the side of the road. Joshua Tree. Let's go to the park. Hell yeah. <laughs> what a life it must be like living here. Probably super different than living in San Diego. And yeah, I mean, hey, if you live in Joshua Tree, hit me up. I'm curious. I'm I'm down to come back and hang out with you because what makes me the most curious is just how people are living in their cities and how it's different from mine. So yeah, excited to see more of this stuff. But yeah, I'm heading back to the Airbnb now to get ready for the drone shots. We're using the Mavic and I'll be flying over some water, um, but it shouldn't be too bad.
two. I got one more shot that I want to show you guys that we did at the Airbnb right before we left. And yeah, I'm excited to show you. We did it in like one or two takes, but it's pretty fun. And take a look.